I'm here at the corner of Dearborn and Randolph. I just want to give you a sense of some of the damage that happened here overnight as there's more looting, not only downtown, but also in several city neighborhoods. Let me turn the camera around here so you can see. Uh, first off, we have the Dearborn Bridge that is still up, blocking anyone from getting to and from downtown. Most of the bridges are still up and have been for several hours. Now here at the corner of Dearborn and Randolph, there is a McDonald's. And as you can see, lots of damage to the McDonald's as people broke in. Let me walk you inside here as close as I can. You can see damage behind the counter, uh, but the main thing that they were after is that ATM machine as that was broken into. Let me walk you around the corner here. There is a longtime family-owned jewelry store it has been here in downtown Chicago for a long, long time. And it was completely ransacked last night. This is Paul Young Fine Jeweler. You can see everything that has been dragged outside the jewelry store. And as we walk and take a look inside here, you'll see heavy looting, just about everything is gone from inside this store. In fact, maybe thankfully, about the only thing that remains is that wall of family pictures. As we back out here, across the street is Block 37. This is a big shopping mall area. You can see some clothing here that is on the ground that was dropped as people were fleeing Block 37. It is now closed. People were able to get inside there and loot some of the shops. They're understandably not letting us inside Block 37 to see the extent of the damage there. As you walk up Randolph, you can see crews there in the distance. That's outside the Old Navy at the corner of State and Randolph. That was heavily looted, and these crews are beginning to clean up, and also the board up process of the Old Navy. This is an area, not only the State and Lake, State and Randolph area, but also areas of Michigan Avenue that were still heavily boarded up from the original round of looting. And so a lot of the businesses that were hit were either businesses that were not hit in that first round, or businesses that had rebuilt and reopened. Here you can see these crews beginning to board up the old Navy store. Well, they are. That's all for now. Keep it on News Radio. Throughout the day, we'll have all the latest for you.